Welcome back to this week's Tuesday Tip. I'm Ebony Hall. And of course, you know, Vicki Bell. And Vicki, you have some good news for us this week. I do have good news for you. Brace yourselves. On September the 18th, 2024, the public housing from HUD sent out a notice that they were not going to be ready to implement HOTMA on January 1, 2025. But guess what? Two days later, on September the 20th, HUD multifamily hey, came out with a notice. And this notice says that they are extending HATMA until one until seven one twenty twenty five. Now, public housing did not give a extended period date, but multifamily housing did. They will not be implementing HATMA on one one twenty twenty five. They're saying that it has been extended to July one. 2025. The public housing, they did not give an extension date, so we'll have that to look forward to. But guys, that gives you a little more breathing room. Mm-hmm. Uh, on the screen, you'll see the notice from HUD. It talks about the extension. How many of you, and I know I can't see you, but how many of you are ready? How many of you do you think would would have been ready on one one twenty twenty five. Not many, because mm-hmm. I talked to some of you. Some of you were even worried about your January and your February ARs mm-hmm. because those would have been due. We would have sent the notice out in September and set in October for February. So guess what? You can breathe. You can <laughs> breathe a little deeper now. By the time we get ready to implement. On seven one twenty twenty five, there should be no questions about it, um, which means that you don't have to do a whole lot of corrections to your five nine. That's a good thing, and I made this just for you, Miss Vicky. You ready? Okay. Yes, I guess. You get yeah. an extension, and you get an extension, and you get an extension. extension. <laughs> Now, Ebony, it might seem like a little thing, but it's really not mm-hmm. because the management companies have done their tenant selection plans, fingers crossed, everybody has, and they have done their EIB policies and procedures. But HATMA encompasses so many parts it of does. the industry and what we do as an industry that even on a little three-month, four-month breathing period, you know, helps. So yeah, everybody gets an extension. But now, as my mom used to tell me, just because you have time on your hands, Vicky, does not mean that you cannot put that time Uh to use. So even though you have time on your hand, make sure that you're ready for July 1, 2025. Because now there's no excuse. There is no excuse. Mm -hmm. And I I personally think that the software as well as the documentation and the forms that we're waiting on should be ready by July 1 of 2025. So look at your housing um, forms, your housing forms, not HUD's, but yours, which would be your tenant selection plan, your EIV policies and procedures, and the main one that we haven't done a whole lot of talking about which is your house rules. Uh, this gives you a chance to incorporate what they say will be in HOTMA into your housing rules. Now, housing rules, as you know, are part of the lease. And it's the major part that we use for evictions and to support the lease and make it legally binding and what you do with the lease legally binding. So, During this period of time, as my mom says, use your time wisely. Make sure that you incorporate the things that you think you need to incorporate into your lease. Now, Vicki, what if they change things? It's easier to remove something Uh than it is to try to word it to put it in. So I will go ahead and, based on the information 
that her husband has already given us on home and rewrite my house rules. Don't, do not, D-O-N-O-T, put them into effect, but go ahead and be prepared so that when the deadline of July 1 comes and they says, okay, we're keeping this one, you'll be prepared. And for those of you who were ready to meet that deadline, kudos to you. Yes. For getting it done in advance. So maybe you can help some of your colleagues out with theirs. Because uh, I know this has been stressful for people. It has been stressful. I think I've got a couple of extra gray hairs because of it. But um, it, it's a lot. And it's a lot to concede. So make sure that you look at your and review assets. Make sure you review the income process. Now, what does that do for us? Since we're not implementing it just yet, we're going to hold tight uh-huh. and we're going to still do everything the way we have always done, which means if you have an EIB discrepancy, you should try to resolve that discrepancy. But as they told us when we first got EIB, all discrepancies aren't so easily resolved. The reviewer is going to look for your good faith effort in trying. You need to make notes in your file. Don't ever forget that the file tells the story. Mm. And so you need to still continue under 202D doing what you have been doing, but just know that the postponement will mean you still have to do your EIV the way that you've always done it. As far as the passbook rate, it did change Uh to my knowledge. And we're going to have to get with Deanna, the person that processes our vouchers. She says our software still isn't taking the new passbook rate. So to my knowledge, you can still use the old passbook rate. There are some other things that will be coming up. We will try to keep you posted. If you have questions, give us a call. Ebony is going to post this notice, I'm sure, because she always does. It's up already. Oh, it's already on our website. So remember that. Remember that this time allows you time to train your staff. You can do some examples on your own. Um, There are still people out there who are doing HOTMA training. We have not got on board yet because, you know, we're trying to wait to see what's going to be what. But come up with some scenarios. If you attend the AMAs, there are plenty of people there who train, and they have little scenarios that you can use, what ifs, if you want to say, and go through those type of things with your staff. What else, Ebony? What else can we talk about? I mean, that's the biggest news. That is the and biggest it's news. funny because we actually recorded this tip last Thursday. And I told Miss Vicki, I said, wouldn't it be funny if between now and Tuesday. She talked it up, y'all. That they dropped this extension for us. And don't you know it? They did it on Friday. Yes, they did. Yes, they so. did. Just, just take this breather mm-hmm. to breathe, but not to go to sleep. Amen. Take it to do what you feel like you need to do so that you will be ready because there's no way around it. It's coming. Yep. It will be here. It's just we got six more months of time to prepare. Six more months. Oh, it feels good. We may have a Thanksgiving, y'all. We may have a Christmas (laughs) without being worried and crying and frustrated and taking it out on our families. (laughs) We might just do that. We (laughs) might just do that. We all realize that we are in the housing industry. We all realize that if it weren't for the great job that you guys do in affordable housing, there would be more people under the bridges. So we want to work with HUD. We want to keep uh, positive minds and positive tones about what we do because there are far too many people, including men, women, and children Uh who are without housing. All right. Well, I think that's about it, Miss Vicky. But well, you all go celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Don't waste your time celebrating. But um, waste your time doing something good. 
take your time doing something positive. Don't waste time is what I'm trying to say. All right. Well, that's it for this week's Tuesday tip. Um, well, I thank think... you, Ebony, so much. Oh, thank you, Miss Vicky. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. I think uh, Pam is picking up next week's Tuesday tip. Yes. Pam's going to do Tuesday tips for the month of October. Very good. And um, we will get back with some questions and answers of some part of that because you all have been sending in some great questions. Questions about um, our A's. And that's one of the things that's going to change in HOTMA. And so for right now, you can. Things that I think would benefit everybody to hear what one person had to go through. Mm -hmm. So we'll get some of those out to you, too. Oh, and with your questions, they can send them to? They can send them to bbell at navigatehousing.com anytime. Or they can send them to Ed. Ehaul <laughs> at navigatehousing.com. Ehaul at navigatehousing.com. Thank you, guys. Y'all take care. Be safe. And we'll talk with you soon.